Hello, my dear Cancerians. Hope everyone is doing well. So let's see what is going on for you guys and a general spread. Okay, so we're starting. You guys have the Nine of Swords with the Six of Pentacles, both in the reverse, coming up. So you guys are slowly getting out of that feeling of feeling anxiety about a situation, feeling that, that you will not get back what you have put in into a situation, that you will not be on the receiving end. Uh, there has been an imbalance um, with you, with your co-workers and your relationship, whatever it is, that was bringing you a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, a sleepless nights about it, but you're slowly getting out of it. Uh, it's, it, it is in like a, more like a past energy that you are having right now. And it's either coming to the realization that there was nothing to worry or you are heading, like you're facing the imbalance and probably taking action. I have the feeling that the seven of wands, because when I was meditating on your energy, I had the seven of wands coming up twice at the end of the deck when I, was, I stopped shuffling. It's still, I feel it's here. Seven of Wands. So you guys are standing up for yourself. If there was a case, whether that is like in any area of your life, these are general re readings. So it's not necessarily in your love life only. It could be a work, whatever. Uh, when you have been, you know, taking a lot of crap from people, you're not, you're not putting up with it anymore. You, you show that you have faith in yourself and you're you don't back down of standing up for yourself and fighting people off because you realize that it's it's like the see the star just talking about it it's like you realize that it's not worth to have such a you know so much pain and anxiety and restless sleepless nights about a situation you you face it head on is what i'm getting here and you have a renewed sense you you have renewed hope you have faith in the situation as i was also saying that things will turn around for the better and whatever you have been going through in the past whether it is financially uh, business or uh, relationship in any kind it's it's slowly turning around is what i'm feeling with the star card it's like you need you needed to go through this in order to one understand it that it's also on your hand to stay positive and to have that renewed hope and faith you know what i mean it's not always like on the other side's behalf that they need to give you the you know the feeling that everything will be fine no it needs to come from within you need to know that you have a certain purpose and you have a certain wish and you if you work towards that wish it will be granted but if you stay stuck in a nine of source energy it will not get granted so it's like a renewed hope a new a renewed sense of direction is also what i'm getting always with the star card and something that you really wished for um is synchronically coming towards you you could be having a lot of you know synchronicities happening around you or messages coming in downloads anything like that now see you coming out of that see you have the uh, seven of cups in the reverse so you're coming out of the delusion you you're seeing things for what they truly are and you're narrowing down your options when it comes to having different feelings about about the situation and it it has it has to do with your with your own mind it's like you have created a lot of illusions in your own mind and that's what you come to to the realization um, together with the star card that some of the things you really create in your own imagine in, in your own imagination and it's coming like you're slowly coming out of that and you have the knight of swords in the middle of your spread so you could be stressed out about either a conversation that you're about to have or you could be stressed out by a <clears throat> by someone who has been watching you is also what I'm getting, but you're getting out of that. And it's also, it's, this could be also a Gemini Aquarius or a Libra individual, but I also have the feeling with the Knight of Swords, you don't take a very, you know, 
confrontational approach. You're trying to metal things down is also what I'm seeing here with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. But there is still something that is heavy on your mind that needs to come out, but you may not know how to approach it because you really want to narrow down your emotions about the situation before you make that approach in in your communication. So you're really trying to be thoughtful and not uh, either come across scattered in your energy or uh, too direct. So you're trying to find a balance um, in the situation. Let's see. What else are the messages for Cancer, please? What else are the messages for Cancer? See, and it, it ends up on a positive note. Um, when you withdraw from any conflict um, or feeling defeated or having the feeling that someone is, you know, trying to get back at you and trying to get back at them, uh, having resentful feelings or anything like that, if you withdraw from it, it will it will give you a lot of success and acknowledgement and fast moving forward with the Knight of Wands. And we have the Page of Pentacles. So if you do... You know, this this is the heart of the matter, the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So you really need to think be, wisely before you speak bluntly uh, in whatever area that is. And if you do that properly, you have the Page of Pentacles upright saying that you will receive a uh, positive message about moving forward. And this also is telling me that you... Because the Page of Pentacles is also someone that is putting a lot of energy and effort into... Uh, studying something or trying to get more information about it before they take the next step. It's a very youth step that they take towards something that they have been building on. So, but financially there is a new opportunity, a new message about, uh, about a new direction uh, that is going to... Um, you will have to study it before you make that decision is what I'm getting as well. Like... Take a good look. Oh, what am I doing? Take a good look um, about the offer that you are receiving. Even like anyway, it, it will be a good uh, offer is what I'm seeing here. Financially, it's a good opportunity, but it does require you to, one, head it on with a clean mind, a clean slate in your head. And, and, and it's it's... It's really good progress. You go from the Nine of Swords to the Seven of Cups to the Six of Swords. So that is definitely your mindset is going to be more in tranquility. You're going to transit all the negative thoughts and emotions and all the disputes that have been going on between you, your co-workers, your family members, your relationship. See that this is a mutual understanding emotionally and going towards a calmer uh, state of mind in this in this situation and movement uh, positive movement though with a balanced head it will require you um, the nine of wands is a card that, that asks for perseverance in this situation is what I'm feeling but it could also be that you you maybe go back and forth in feeling paranoid because the nine of wands to me is also like a feeling of paranoid um, feeling as if you get an attack even though there is fat movement forward because you come from the nine of swords and seven of cups energy you could still feel this feeling to protect yourself protect your energy protect like this protection is there with the seven of wands Because there is a two of pentacles, so you that, that's what I said, like you're going to weigh up this option that you are receiving and you're going to be very, very cautious and <clears throat> you're going to be very cautious while weighing this option. <clears throat> so you really, again, you need to narrow down your options, but this time this needs to be practically. So you went from emotional weighing down options to practically, so there is... You know, in the material realm, there is movement forward, but just just remember that you don't be too defensive. Uh, like stand up for yourself, but don't be exhausted by standing up by yourself. So try to keep the balance uh, there in your mind because you have the ten of pentacles. Wow, 
Oh, there's even a King of Cups that wants to come in, maybe with an offer after breaking your heart. So that could be also someone that is, you know, Cancer Pisces Scorpio that could be coming in as well. Or this could be your energy after <clears throat> feeling a bit hurt, ready to stand up again and take an opportunity and be aware of your emotions and try to control them in in the best way you can because you will get an opportunity with which leads to abundance and a lot of stability is what i'm seeing here so let's see what else is there for you goddess of justice a lot of sciences are getting this gemini did get this some other signs as well what seems an injustice is actually a blessing a justice card again talks about the black balance that you need to keep so even though you feel that people are uh being unfair not giving you what you deserve there is there is a higher purpose behind it and it will be accordance to your own highest good uh whatever the outcome is you need patience and that's what the nine of wands even if you get this okay i like which direction to go you need to have patience and think of your health and that's why you need to strive towards the six of swords where you find some balance in your own mind bold boundaries love yourself enough that's what i stated the seven of wands is talking about that boundary that you guys need to set up Love yourself enough to say no to others demanding on your time and energy. And that's what the seven, uh, the nine of wands, you like, this is a very, it's also a toxic energy because it requires you a lot of um, energy to, you know, defend yourself. And that, that can cause a lot of anxiety and stress in your mind and that could affect your health. So you need to, you know, Think twice when you stress about a situation or a person like, okay, does this person really deserve my energy and my help to suffer? No. No. Right? Like, be fair to yourself and your own health in the situation, mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever it is. So I'm going to continue with this spread and the link will be down in the description box and it will be the Hisa Shisa spread as well. And uh, for the others of you, I will be seeing the 1st of April. Thanks and bye.